Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 81 of Romance of the Three Kingdoms number 14. So we've built two towers here. Uh, so they're both going back, right? Going back? Yes, going back. And we are delivering 10,000 soldiers from here to Chen Liu. Uh, and Ling is coming back. Big Boss is going back too. Uh, so, uh, so we're still in a recruitment. Anyway, let's go into the next turn. We're in a recruitment frenzy. Uh, this is the, the real spoils of war after taking over Cao Cao are the people that comes with him. It is just fantastic that we'll, we'll be getting so much, so many talent. We have gotten so many talents. Okay, uh, let's continue. Wang Bi. Sun Yu's charm has increased by one. Oh yeah, yeah, we missed him because we... Liu Yao and Yan Bayus form an alliance. Xi Min visit Yue Di. Sui Di. Xi Ma Lang. Liu Yao, okay, is someone important in Luoyang? Towards our Sao Chun, we can't sit back. Sure. What's with this guy? Oh, he's coming home. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me save this. You know what we will do with uh, Liu Pei is that uh, we will be attacking from both sides. I mean, uh, we will hit. Puyang needs to be uh, steady, meaning uh, nothing coming out of Puyang. Uh, Puyang will be taking care of our northern border with uh, Yuan Xiao. And then I think we will organize a joint attack uh, using Chen Liu to go after Xiao Pei. And then uh, the major attack will be coming in. Su Chang will be joining forces with. Uh, Xiao Chun, I think we can take Guangling, and then we will just be left with uh, Xia Pi. And let's see how uh, Liu Bei likes that. He keeps threatening us. He's coming down here. Sure, uh, we got fifty-one thousand over here. We're not even worried about him. Um, what is this thing? Oh, because there's a camp here, huh? Okay, uh, so we need to do continue to do more, what do you call this, uh, changes, like uh, we uh, area.
Who else? Uh, I think that's it, right? Okay. And then, how about the recruitment here? Okay, recruitment is still okay. So we should be getting full uh, recruitment now because everybody's back home. Uh, I think, uh, how about Chen Liu? Uh, recruitment should be back to full. Uh, how about domestics? I think we're still... We still have a few holes in our domestic, yes. Uh, what's over here? You know what, I, I need to review... Who is doing what? I mean, yeah, if we have... Maximized... Uh, I thought I sent Manchong over. Why, why am I making it myself? It's hard for us. Let's just do this. So we have Lianpo. Or we can have this guy, Simalang. Uh, instead of commerce, we can do this. And then central administration. I guess that's it, right? Uh, I. Making sure that we have... Okay. Over. So Chen Liu is fine. How about uh, Su Chang? Why do we have holes here? Uh... Again, going through here. Oh, see how Dun is here. Is he stronger than Pai Chi? Oh, they're the same. How about our... Yeah, so we should be back to normal, right? No, not yet because uh, Big Boss is not yet back. Okay. Uh, this game actually throws through us a... Uh, what do you call this? A curveball here. When... Uh, that's why I had to move uh, this lady... Uh, Zhong Jin to Su Chang. Uh, what happened was that... Um, she, her uh, what do you call this? Her loyalty was like at a hundred or maybe ninety-eight or something, and then overnight she just decided to rebel. It's very similar to the guy over up here, uh, the, the the guy who uh, who rebelled against Gong Sun Zan, and then uh, causing this problem for Gong Sun Zan. So, uh, and so it just so I guess it is kind of. That is doesn't make sense. Plus, uh, this lady is the wife of one of Jingun's brothers, so it's like she's a sister-in-law of the warlord. Uh, that you know that doesn't make sense. Uh, and from '98, suddenly she just uh, gained, uh, wanted to establish her own, uh, and of course uh, nobody supported her. She was the only one. So, but that means. Uh, 
I'll have to take back the city, all kinds of stuff. So this is the kind of uh, simplification. I think uh, I would credit this. I would uh, attribute this, not credit, attribute that to uh, laziness on the part of developers. Just like this or just something just really bizarre. They should not happen like that. That the government will suddenly just turn their back on us, and uh, I don't. And remember, we were trying to do that to some of the governors here, and uh, yeah, that's just bizarre. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, let's continue to hire people. Hangu Gate. Okay, there has been. It. They will be about Cao Cao Armin. Let's just get somebody close, like Cao Cao. Oh. Employ uh, Chao Chun. Let's go. Sankai Bianchi. Wow, Luoyang will have the most people ever. Uh, okay, employ. Zhangkai, Lu Bianxi. I think that's the wife of uh, Cao Cao. I think. Ban Jiang in Puyang. Or one. Let's have one do it. Uh, employ. Who else? One, two, three, four, zero. Zhangkai. Han Sui. Oh, they're 95. Sun Tse. Who's this? Sushi Huiji. Wow, that's 25. Whoa, I don't think I don't think we can afford that, no. Sushi, huh? Sushi. <laughs> Sugong. Chen Jiao. Da Chiao, Da Chiao, uh, Chu Fa, Oh, Dian Chiao, where is he? Xiangping, oh Gong Sung Du, forget it. Uh, that's too far. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, then we said they said there was somebody in Luoyang, right? Let's go on the reward side. See which are the new. Okay, no. Uh, search. Uh, wait, uh... Let's just look at this joker. Where is he headed? Bang. And where is this guy headed? Bang, okay. You know what? We will just bite back. Uh, they can take Dang, and we'll just bite back. 
we just spent uh, 9,000 because what I want to concentrate on is building up our troops and if we send uh, anyone from Chen Yu out uh, we will not be really maximizing the troop uh, development so uh, they can take whatever they want and then we will just buy it back we'll just use placation to buy it back uh, So are we maxed out here, domestics? And then on this side, are we maxed out also? Oh, we're still... Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, we sent uh, Jingye back, right? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, I almost forgot this. And then who was our trainer, Lin Chong? Or Huarong? I think let's do the area management first. Find out uh, who is best for what. Jingye, Liu Ye. So I guess we go with Huarong. And then for the training area, we have uh, Jingye and Lin Chong. So I notice our morale now is 122. Uh, look at this. Uh, no, no, we go to the training. Uh, yeah, city government. Yeah, see, our morale now is morale. As uh, the trainer Lin Chong is from 122 to 122. Okay, so we used to be at 105. Uh, so yeah, we should be maxing out at 39.56. Okay. Uh, we don't really need people at the gates now, do we? Yeah, these are just uh, how many people are here uh, that will become uh, healthy. Uh, so we have six thousand. So we are thirty-three thousand plus two thousand will be 35,000 and then uh, if we need to march out who are the people here oh I think we need to uh, give Jin Chuan a title we still have a vacant title here yeah Lu Pu is here now yeah, this one, assistant officer. So that, uh, yeah, if we need to march out, we have people who, who can, uh, 
seven thousand. Wow, we we need another title. <laughs> All of these guys. Oh, except uh, yeah, only Jin Chuan has a title. Wow. Oh, we need to do something about this. We need to redistribute people. Like uh. Where did the, the uh sh Okay, let's check where the officers went. Xia Hao Dun and Xia Hao uh Yuan. One is in I think Su Chang, right? Yeah, but again we are uh, Xia Hao Yuan is in Chen Liu, okay. But he doesn't have a title, so he doesn't have and Xiao Dun is also uh, in Su Chang. Ah, okay. We 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 need to give them titles so that uh, they can. <sighs> See, they have eighty nine leadership, ninety. Uh, and then Xiao Yuan is ninety two, ninety one. So we need to we need to promote them. Uh, yeah. Okay problem is we don't have the titles so uh, so we were just uh, so we fixed Chang'an we fixed Luoyang we have fixed Chen Liu uh, I think we we fixed uh, Su Chang also right uh, I mean in terms of making sure yes And then we weren't checking to see on the, which city has is selling what. Uh, so no, no market here. Uh, no market. Uh, Chen Liu. 60. No. We have more than enough supplies. I wish we have the supplies like in the past, it's like a million, and that was fantastic. We can actually, uh, oh no, no uh, merchant. I we I turned it into a trading game, and it just, it, it there's a lot of fun in that itself. Uh, no merchant. How about Runan? No merchant. Should I even look if there's no merchant? Nope, no merchant. In January, there's no merchant? You know, geez, this is... Where do they? Are they, uh, like, uh, they fly home to the winter for the winter or something? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think the project developer for this, uh, something needs a lot more... Uh, Yeah, there's lots more uh, needed for something is really uh, a little mixed up. I mean, uh, the quality of work. Uh, there's there can be a lot more improvements on this. Let's just get from the big cities like Su Chang. Chang'an, Puyang. One. Jinqiu欢呼吧. <laughs> Chao Chun.
Oh, Li Jin trying to Han Suan in Luoyang. Okay. What? What? Xi Huan. Liu Bei army towards Shao Chun. Someone of renown in Luoyang. Okay. Who's this guy? Oh, delivery. What is he delivering? Xiao Pei retreat. What is he delivering? Gold, four thousand. One thousand troops from Xia Pi. Okay. Uh, where's the delivery? Did he? Okay, we're back to forty-eight here. We're thirty-seven here. Puyang is uh, any injuries? Yeah, two thousand. So sixty thousand. So they're close to uh, to maxing out again at seventy thousand, right? Uh, yeah, they can only support seventy thousand soldiers. Uh, Chen Liu, how many soldiers are? Oh, there is a uh, merchant here. Uh. Okay, Chen Liu will be punching out 4,000, yes. Uh, 2,000 injuries, so we're talking about 48, 50,000 at the end of January. And here, okay, back to 56,000. Yes, hopefully, yeah, we're not moving out of here. Uh, they can do whatever they want out there, and uh, once we're ready, uh, we will be, why? Shouldn't they be producing like 3,000? Why did... Why? We don't have anybody... Oh, you know what? Because there's people in our territory. I see, I see. There's people in our territory. Now I understand, okay. Uh... So we have no choice but to move out there, if that's the case, because uh, because there are people in our territory, they still have to, they will reduce our soldier production, so might as well send out troops out there and actually mess with them. Uh, I am, okay, let's check on, anyway, I guess I, that's something I, that's something we just, I just found out, so if this, either we send out soldiers or people are messing with us, uh, our production of troops go down. Anyway, okay, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye!